Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54, first round match between RS Vordoka, a new player I haven't seen him before, up against Old Draw, who's a veteran. We've got uh, da Dwarves versus Skaven, and uh, the inducements are something for the Dwarves, right? Because the Dwarves have loners in a 12th man. So he's induced a loner troll slayer. Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad. Has a pom jump up pommer, another pommer, a move up strength up. Flip me. Lodge guard firm, another pommer, loads of pommer, three pommers. <laughs> a pretty rowdy dwarf team. Rats have got a horns claw palm. Flip me. Or just a horns palm. Yeah, horns claw palm. I can see. Why the hell has he got? I mean, I just saw the horns and assumed it was claw palm. But they're like, imagine if he had horns and not claw. That'd be flipping crazy. Uh, two heads. Wrestle horns. Nice. Blood. Blood step. Show hands. Wrestle strip. Stand. I don't like the stand firm. That's the first size up, right? Just for the one turns, like stand firm just seems appalling. Honestly, genuinely, genuinely terrible <laughs> to take stand firm. And this guy's exposed. Uh, this is not good. This is not good leaving this guy exposed. Like, you don't even need to pile on every time, right? You just need to, uh, you need to be able to hit and run with him until you can pile on. Like, you need to pile, you need to keep this guy safe. This is your, like, Win con almost. Like I know you've got fast cutters and everything. But this is almost your win con. You can't just give him up like that. You just can't. Also I wouldn't even I wouldn't have even hit him with this guy. I would have just pommed him. Okay, he's pomming the gutter. I would have pommed the claw pom. Like I think it's insane to not claw pom the claw pom and I think he should have Yeah. Like these rats are fine, right? These rats are fine. Uh, well, I say rats. I always, I always just call gutter runners rats. <laughs> but <laughs> there's four real rats on the team, and they're fine, right? But then they haven't, they haven't got much, you know. Like, okay, he's got two doubles, but like, and he's got a double, but they're not stats, right? Stat, stat gutters are where it's at, and uh, they aren't stat gutters. So they're totally fine. Maybe Rando the stand for him, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, exactly, exactly, Elegant Park. I think they matched each other on the exposing the claw pommer and then not pomming the claw pommer. <laughs> and at least this time he's picked a better target, not a stand firmer, so he can run away after the blitz. But his team, two stuns, his, his team's in shambles. Oh, and then the Froger. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I mean, he's gonna have three players able to react. Like, like he can't he can't pressure the gutters obviously but the LOS is looking pretty sad. Oh wow. Double GFI to pom the core pom, love it. <laughs> That's dedication. We could have kept the uh, Slayer over here eh, to like threaten us. So could have been an idea. Kind of dangerous for the dwarves now if they like overextend and let the rats get past them. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> it, it's transforming into a dacker. Yep, yeah, gotta re-roll that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> oh dear. Hello, Ali Yeti. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. So now we're looking at claw pumping this guy and tackle. Well, tackle pumping this guy. Uh, well, not claw pumping. Tackle. Tackle pumping the gutter and pumping him, but he just hits him without again. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, you can pom him and pom him. Mr. Strongfoot. Yeah, I mean he's a pretty good safety, but still like one safety isn't good enough against rats. And no tackles. But he's removed, only two, only two gutters left. But yeah, he just needs to not do, <laughs> do this. <laughs> needs to not overcommit, right? This is the problem here. Uh, no, yeah, it's, it's going to get some life injected into it in two weeks' time. Glory. Glorious pom, does nothing. Standard, yeah, I would have taken tackle on him since he's got the strength for him. Even move seven is maybe enough to not take kick off the turn. Yeah, good effort to uh, get a bit of a foothold there, clears these two. Uh, see, this is the problem, like, by doing this, by putting these guys up, he's let these guys get up for free, right? And, that Slayer could have, I would have had the Slayer over here like that, like a few turns ago, so then it, he would be still covering him. Could have a couple of guys covering these two, and everything would have been under control, but let's let these scare them get back into it. Does the Claw Pummer just dodge away, is the question. Problem is he can still blitz the game. <laughs> like if you leave him lying, I guess he could foul because he's got a reserve. Oh wow. That, and that's the danger with dodging, right? That could have easily been the storm ball. Dodging into a self cas I mean they can't collapse. They've got two men down and they've got that this guy can't collapse anywhere. <laughs> dwarves cannot dwarves. Dwarves cannot react at all. <laughs> Dwarves need to have their players in position and ready. And that was that was real bad last turn. He did he did exactly what he had to not do right. Like they they just can't over pursue out ever. Like funny enough, like Wood Elves and Skaven can just like uh, can just super over pursue all the time and just make up the space, but. Dwarves really can't. Oh wow, he's going for the ball because of the jump up. Oh yes! <laughs> Rolls the power, he hasn't got tackle. Gets the cast. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Flip me. <laughs> That was amazing. Flip me. Yeah, I mean you can do this, but it just it just it's it's hyper risky, isn't it, to do this with dwarfs? You've got no cover at all. By the way, you could have still done that play with him and still had the other all the other dwarves in good places. The previous turn, just quietly. It would help if Old Roll rolled any pals ever, wouldn't it? He can't re-roll that because he's he's got the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, another wild animal. <laughs> I mean he's had shocking dice as well. Like, maybe he could have done the other thing differently, but his, his dice have been pretty shocking. The biggest mistake he made wasn't punished, right? Which was allowing his claw pummer to get pommed. 
multiple turns. <laughs> Mul multiple turns of his claw bomber getting pumped. Though, leaving the, the ball hit on was punished. Brutally. Apple worked on him. Gonna one, one, he's just gonna 1D, 1D kill him now, isn't he? He's gonna literally 1D. Pow kill. <laughs> I didn't even know! I swear I didn't know! I swear I didn't know this was gonna happen! I swear to god I didn't know! <laughs> That's amazing. That's actually amazing. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Flip me. And I mean, Pal was right. He's got jump up, so you know he would have been right. With Pal, but just didn't need to <laughs> enjoy your turn. But again, he's overcommitted. Like this is the problem. Like. I guess he's got this guy now. When they've only got one rat left, it's okay to have one safety, I guess. Yeah, jumper pile is incredible. It really is. Can can this guy touch him? Yeah. So end of turn, double G if I to touch him. Oh, he could chain. He could chain this guy. So the play here was obviously one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Block him, power him, chain there, and then you can hit the ball. That was that was 100% the play. It doesn't do it, but just kill, <laughs> kill, kill the rover instead. No problem. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Flip me. <laughs> just knock this guy out as well. Oh, that he can stand in front. That was a good blitz, to be fair. If you're not going to blitz the ball, if you're not going to free that guy to blitz the ball, which is really nice, to be fair. Oh, he's not doing that. But I like that. One, two, three, four, five. Right, he could have double GFI'd to be in front or something. And he could have uh, he could have double GFI'd one here. What he could have done was... I mean, if he wasn't just killing everybody... But after he killed everybody, he could have uh, he could have double GFI'd the Slater there, double GFI'd a Dwarf to here and double GFI'd a Dwarf to here. I remember he's don't even double GFI'd, just GFI'd. Well, yeah, sit, stay where he is. But this guy double GFI'd to there and the Slayer could have double GFI'd to there and he'd be pretty hemmed in. But, I mean, it's pretty amazing just killing everything, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's literally removed everything on the opposing team. It's obviously the it's obviously the big brain strat. <laughs> oh god. Yep. Yeah, I mean everyone has these two everyone has these games right, but yeah, obviously with Armor 7, it's easier to have in this game. More common. Well, well, gets the touchdown. Despite all of that. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's going to have to be overtime probably for the Dwarves. Unlikely a two turn, only got one runner. <laughs> I mean, the dwarves might get a legal concede. <laughs> I mean, Aldro just has to run away now for the rest of the game, doesn't he? He just literally has to run away. And if he can win the toss with seven players, maybe even six, maybe he can score. 
And he's got two to come back. So he'd lose another four. I mean, he's only lost three so far, so he could... Well, no, he lost four because he used the apple, so... If he can get overtime with six players left... It's definitely not over. Don't say it's over. I mean, the Dwarves are very unlikely to score in two. Oh, well, <laughs> there's another cat. <laughs> God. <laughs> it's flipping game. It's at times like this when you realise that playing Blood Bowl is shit and watching Blood Bowl is great. Flip me. So, yeah, no rerolls now. Only two scoring threats. Mm, probably shouldn't have made the second one, right? Because these are only six away. You might as well just make them a six away as well. And then you've definitely got a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Honestly, it's, it, Blood Bowl is so great to watch and talk about and think about. It's brilliant. But as soon as it comes... And I really wanted to be in the playoffs. But, like... When it came to playing to qualify, I was like, oh god, I don't want to play Blood Bowl. <laughs> the claw bomb is dead, dead, dead. Literally 100% dead. about this. I mean, just palm, right? You're so unlikely to score your best just palm. Oh, I don't like this. Just palm him. You're winning all the time. If he scores this, oh my god, he does. Oh my god. <laughs> Why would anything fail? My bad. There's no reason to pump because you'll kill everybody in the second half anyway. If you want to be part of Team Positive, then uh, you've got to fucking <laughs> suck it up. Stop bitching like a little baby and try and fucking play better, eh? Dude. Pass 5 plus, catch 4 plus, dodge 4 plus, dodge 3 plus. So yeah, 5, 4, 4, 3, 2, 2. No rerolls. No problem. <laughs> I mean, now it's pretty much over, yeah. Now it's pretty much over. But still 8 players, right? I would still, I would defensive Daka here. I, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done this. I did defensive Daka. And then, you know, get you one turn. No, oh, I don't know how, many, how much stand firm there is actually. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay, so you don't get your one turn. All right, so yeah, okay. Now you got to play. Then you got to try and play. You got to try and play. That sucks. Yeah, yeah. There's no one turn. Oof. Oof. Yeah, no. You you got to play it. You got to play it with no with no one turn. That's no, not. I mean, if you've got a knight, then you just you just defensive die. Perp, derp, base, base, base. Or if you want nil, if you want nil, you defensive die. I'm on the right. Burp, and then hope you get the ball in overtime. Oh dear. Hello, Steve. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Hello, ah! pilot. Wow. Our reservoir dog are absolutely bamboozled. <laughs> How is this guy still on the pitch? Is there a bug? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Cyanide! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Jesus. This is worst turn. Worst turn of the game, man. Uh, that, that really sucks, doesn't it? But it's probably correct. Oh, gets the car. It's just such a bad player to hit, right? Such a bad player to hit. The literal worst player on his team. Like, blitzing him was really nice, but then that it does get the gutter off. <laughs> get the gutter off is pretty good. Double GFI foul? Or just foul with the gutter? Oh, yeah, there's a bribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, not sent off. Outrageous bribe work. So this one can get pong this turn. Is there, is there a pong available? Yeah, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So pong him. Oh, or don't. I could obviously block this guy so that I can pawn him, but never mind. Like, you've already got a Pomery Confile, so you might as well give him a second Pomery Confile. I mean, it's okay to focus on ball protection, I guess. Game's pretty much over, isn't it? But I would have definitely hit this one to give myself the option. Skaven can still do things, can't they? Especially the two heads, horns, right? Here. It's very unlikely they do anything, but if they do do anything, it's going to be the gutter runners, and he still has all four. He's so far behind. He's trying to make something happen. Well, I want to say I like it. I understand it. <laughs> I understand it. It's not really helping your defense, unfortunately, is it? Like, too much. But then what is your defense? Like, I don't know what your defense is against a full dwarf cage with a strength 4 runner. Like, <laughs> you're just fucked, aren't you? <laughs> Basically. Flipped, as Rick would say. You're just a hundred percent flipped. Guard on opposite corners. Jump up is so good on the, uh, on the blitzer. I could get lucky here. This is a really nice blitz. Does get lucky. Woo! Oh, power apple. Flip me. Probably right to power apple, but oh, that was that's really bad. That was really bad. It's easy done, but you know, just just so you know. <laughs> like obviously all raw nose, but like you know, people watch. <laughs> dodge through non-tacklers with dodges. But again, something we've all done, isn't it? Especially head probably out of the game at this point. To an extent, like not 100% done or anything, just not at 100%, right? That's 
is uh, surprisingly crap from the dwarves, isn't it? <laughs> A based cage. I know, okay, there's still not a lot that can be done with it, but... Okay, it works. It works. Flip me, guys. Flip me. Is there still a guard, or is the guard the one that ran up? Oh, the guard got removed. Oh, the guard got removed. Okay. Oh, so close. So close. If only the guard wasn't removed, could have got a 1B on the ball. With Wrestle. Probably should have just blitzed it with him, right? Even though he's the recovery. Maybe he should have blitzed it just for the Wrestle. Much much higher chance of the knockdown. And then the knockdown's the first step, isn't it? And then if it makes the recovery harder, so be it. Like your problem is getting the ball down, isn't it? Making it a one in four instead of one in nine. Oh. Rossled? Yeah. But I mean, you know, if you get a lucky scat, like, you know, you've got to get lucky, right? You've got to get lucky. So if you get the lucky scat there, then you, then you storm them and can pick it up and mob it, can't you? But yeah, it probably doesn't matter that much at the end of the day. <laughs> You've got to get so lucky, it probably doesn't matter. What order you do it in. Two heads, no chance he has. I mean, if you don't get him down, then it's over as well, so it's like... Ah, he was really tough. I think it's probably like, you know... Making the knockdown go from a 1 in 9 to a 1 in 4 is worth making the recovery harder, whatever the recovery is. I think that's going to maybe make a bigger difference than in Stone Bone recovery. Finally stabilized. It took a while. It took a while for the dwarves to fully stabilize there. But now. And they have done. Oh yeah, t Yes, exactly, yeah, that's what that's what I alluded to. Earlier it's like it's totally understandable, isn't it? Everyone's the same, mate. If they're if they're far ahead or far behind, then um, <laughs> and yeah, best player's already dead. Yeah, you know. Like while you're still gonna try things, you just you're not. Do you know what I mean? Like you're not. If you're the dwarves here, you're not making. You're not gonna make the strongest cage you possibly can, right? You're not gonna make the ultimate perfect move. When you make the ultimate perfect moves, is when it's like a close game. Do you know what I mean? And then, like, you know that you've got to, like, you know, everything's to play for, and you're like, right, how do I do the best possible turn here? That That's when you can tend to do the best possible turns, right? But when it's just like, la 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 la, my opponent's got two players left, <laughs> then you don't make such good turns. And when your best players are, your two best players are dead, and you've been diced to death, and you've got, like, probably a 1% chance to win the game, <laughs> then, then, yeah, you do the, you know, you do mostly the right things, and you hit the ball and everything, and you take the chances you've got to take, but your heart's not in it, is it? Not the same. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, the, the 1D, the 1D power depth is just perfection. <laughs> amazing. Actually amazing. I'm surprised he power up or... Uh, was, it, was it this one of the Blitzers? I don't know, I can't remember. But I'm surprised he power up or... Yeah, I think it was this Blitzer, wasn't it? Because it'd feel terrible if one of these Stan Firms got killed now. Yeah, I mean, the stand fern has totally killed the one time. Oh, yeah, but he's put these. It doesn't totally kill the one turn. We've got a chance. We've got a chance as the rats here. Is old Ro going to go for it? No. So, let me tell you, before, before there's a quick snap, what should have happened? <laughs> Sidestep goes on the LOS, right? And then it, you get a quick snap. You move three up here, you blitz him, push him back, sidestep goes there, bubs your uncle. Wasn't a quick snap. But there was a chance. There was a chance there. Admittedly, not much. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, he shouldn't have done that. It's, it's what Nick did, right? It's what Nick did with, uh, except with Frenzy, when uh, his opponent had three stand firm. Put the three stand firm in the line and then the rest behind like this, and he, he got the he got the Frenzy one turn. <laughs> Sounds like a jet. Oh, the run around foul, beautiful. Holding the ball for the hidden plus one. Nice. Well, there you go. Um, <laughs> I've, I've sadly forgotten the name of the dwarf coach, but congratulations to him. R.S. Vordorka, wasn't he? I remembered. I actually remember. I'm really good sometimes. R.S. Vordorka, I think that's his debut, but yep, congrats to him. I mean, obviously, just diced the pants off. <laughs> off old draw. But, you know, mids. Made moves that won the game. <laughs> Some people could have had those dice and not won, right? Made the most of the dice he got and uh, got the wins. There you go. Commiserations all raw. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.